Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use JustWorks. JustWork is simple software for payroll, benefits, HR and compliance and in this video I'm going to look into everything what I can. So the first thing that you want to do is just go top right and click get started. When you're going to click get started, just add an email address and everything. So I'm going to add email address, I will add name, also phone number, then you have company name, and then you can have the current payroll provider, if you have one just choose it, and do you want to offer benefits to your team, let's go yes, and number of employees I want with 5. Now we'll click submit. Okay, and now what I will do, I'll click here start enrolling. Here I have the first name, the last name, the email address. Now I'm going to have company name, number of full time paid employees, I go five, company headquarters, like this, and then I'm going to set up account. Then I'm going to add a password. And how did I hear about them? Google, create account. So here we are directly inside our just works. Now when you're gonna come here, it looks like it's a lot on the left side. So we will go step by step, I'll try to explain you a little bit of everything. So here you're gonna unlock the power of just works, start by getting your health insurance pricing to access better benefits to better prices. So here you would click start here. And here you would like qualify for a quote. And this is something where you can get your health insurance quotes. I'm not going to do it, but if you want, you can do it right here. Then the first thing, as you can see, this is like, okay, what do we need to do here? So I recommend do doing this, like applying to join is easy, track your progress here. So first, we're going to enter the company details. So let's say it's like this. Then you would add an AIN uh, if we are a non profit. then type street line and you would fill everything here what you need and what you have. Okay, so I would have this is just for the tutorial, I would try to trick it out. and fill everything here, when you're gonna have for the business. Okay. Like this. And save and continue. So here we are, have the, like, then you just add, add your team. Then apply for workers comp connect bank account, verify test deposits. So I'm not going to connect bank account and also the complete er er enrollment and everything. We're going to continue for the payments here. Okay, fill this out. My recommendation do it if you're the owner. If you're just employee watching this video, that's okay too. We're gonna skip this part. So the next thing that we're gonna have is a payment center and where we're gonna have an option to make a payment so you can have a contractor pay, vendor payment, expense, off cycle salary, bonus. And in each of those that you're going to find here, you can schedule a payment. So I can click here, schedule payment, and then you're going to have the menu and enter settings for every payment below or bulk upload. Then you would have delivery preference and notes. Then you would press continue and then you would sort it by department. You would search for it. And now we don't have any contractors that we want to pay, but here you would have it all. So this is how the payment center work, how we can pay stuff. I hope I hope you understand it. And then we're gonna have the time cards. Okay, please complete the enrollment before managing time cards. So we need to like 
finish all this to do it so you will do it by yourself and the next thing are invoices so we need to again complete the whole enrollment to even like use the use the whole invoices here okay so i'll just add myself here for a second Okay, let's say om owner, unpaid, title, CEO, and you would add a member type. And here we are. So we have this one. And I don't think that I can even use the invoices here before. That's a bummer because I would need to like fill the, uh, the connect bank account. And in this video, I'm not going to cover it. So but in invoices, you can easily have invoices under HR. You're going to have a benefit for you're going to have the sign up uh, for more benefits or add a custom benefits perk you already offer. So you're going to have the 401k, class pass, commuter, life insurance, and you can easily click here and request a quote. And this is the exact same thing that we had in uh, the home. Then you're going to have the time off. And here you would have time off and documents where you can upload the document. Now, when we go even further, you're going to have an option to manage an employees. And here you can simply uh, like add employee or what I can do is member type. And here you can also add a vendor or what we can do here. We can add contractors and you can easily switch between the managing the contractors, vendors and employees is directly connected when you would have a payment center and you want to pay someone. So click add here. And you can simply choose if it's employee, if it's a contractor, a vendor, an owner, a third party admin. And then you would have annual salary, worker type, if it's going to be manual or non-manual. So always when you're going to choose and change it uh, to contractor, the employee, like all the things here are going to change. So what you need to do is fill it out after it's going to change. So then that's it. Now you're going to have also options to have vendors here or contractors, as I mentioned. So this is where we can add everyone. And then we're going to have the company here. So we're going to have company as directory. And this would be all the departments, everything what you need uh, in the company. Organization chart. Organization chart would be uh, like, let's say that I'm a CEO. Where did it go? And then what it would be here. Like here would be marketing. Let's say there will be a research and development. So that's pretty much it. And that's how the organization chart works. Then we're going to have the calendar in calendar. What you can do is simply like everything and see what is happening. Then reports. And here you would have a benefits, HR payments everything settings. This is the settings for the company that you have custom fields. And you can simply here like add custom fields, track information that is not already member profiles, t-shirt size, birthday, birthday cake preference, all the like stuff that you need. Then you're going to have permissions. And you can simply uh, like add and change the permissions here. Benefits overview. And prospective hires want all the details before accepting offer. And here you would like can create a company benefits. So I can click here, create an overview. And fill everything here. Then we're going to have the pay steps. If you have a pay stubs, you would have it right here. Benefits for yourself. Documents and account settings. 
So this is pretty much it for uh, as a beginner's guide what you can find and how you can use JustWorks. This was just like an introduction tutorial. My recommendation is connect everything here with the bank account, with the test deposits, and then you can easily work with invoices and also, for example, with time cards. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you're going to have a great day. Uh, this was an introduction to uh, your account and how we can work with in just works. So this was a just works tutorial. Thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.